Sea grass is a critical part of the Baltic Sea's flora. It covers an area of almost 300 square kilometers and stores around 3 to 12 megatons of carbon for centuries and millennia. If this carbon gets released into the sea, it can contribute heavily to the global greenhouse gas emissions. Scientists in Germany are working to conserve these grass systems. The researchers are looking for ways to restore the seagrass in the Baltic. They are exploring different seeds and cultivation methods to find out the most efficient ones. And this includes turning up the heat on seagrass to see if it will be able to survive in a gradually warming planet. The scientists are also seeking ways to make the species better adapted to climate change in the future. And not just in the Baltic, underwater seagrass meadows are threatened globally. Studies showing Europe alone lost one-third of its seagrass areas between the 1860s and 2016. Among other reasons, including poor water quality, diseases, extensive use of fertilizers, global warming is an important factor. However, seagrass is not a silver bullet for bringing carbon emissions down enough to reach net zero. Even if Germany could restore all the areas that have lost seagrass, they would only reduce up to 100 tons of carbon dioxide annually, which is a very small percentage of the German budget. That's another issue with restoration. We can restore an area, but if the temperatures um, go up to those you know, 26 degrees Celsius and above and are prolonged for months to, on, at, on end, uh, which we might see in the future with climate change, then that could really pose an issue for that whole system. It, it, it may entirely die. And so one of the, um, the aspects we're looking into now is trying to find a way to adapt these plants. Germany has pledged to reduce its greenhouse gas emissions by more than 50% by 2030 as compared to the levels in 1990. And the government also aims to turn the country carbon neutral by 2045. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.